guys, welcome back to Dear Fat Girl. I am Sarah Ray Vargas, in case you didn't guess it. So I wasn't totally sure what I was going to film today, um, but during my live chat, I had a lot of people tell me that I should film about uh, being like the fat friend or having skinny friends. And then I sort of looked through the emails that I've been getting, which if you didn't know, you can email me at asksarahvargas at gmail.com to send me your story, your suggestion, anything like that. I read every email. I do not respond to every email. Uh, however, I looked through the emails and I was trying to figure out sort of what to talk about and I noticed that there was a trend of a lot of people feeling insecure because they have thin friends or they are just the designated fat friend. And I thought this is definitely something I should touch on because it's something that I went through for a long time. Um, I think always, <laughs> I, I was always the, the fat friend, like I was always the fattest uh, girl in my group of friends. My group, group of friends would change all the time since, you know, from, from being very, very small in kindergarten, I remember my friends, um, all the way up through high school, even in college. I didn't have like a core group of friends in college, but the people that I would sort of gravitate towards, uh, they were you know, I was still the biggest and it was something I was always really aware of. And even now I'm still the biggest out of my group of friends and I just don't think about it that way anymore. Now I remember sort of in my like teens or my early, early 20s, I'm only 26 now, but years ago before I had kids, I remember going to like uh, like a club or something, like if we were going out for our, you know, someone's birthday or whatever, and like me and some of my friends were going, I remember being like the fattest girl and thinking constantly that I'm the fattest one here and if we go out and you know, there's a group of guys, they're gonna be like, that's the fat girl, like that's the fat friend, like she's easy or let me give her some attention and she's gonna be all over my penis. Like I remember having thoughts like that and I remember while being there, like there was this one time we went to, um, it was a club or something and uh, I didn't really go clubbing, that wasn't really my scene, but for birthdays or special occasions or whatever, I was always down to go hang out with my friends and go to the club if that's what they wanted to do. So I remember going out one time, it was me and like, I wanna say there were like four or five other girls and I was a fat friend and um, I remember dancing and having some guy like come up on me and like touch me and sort of rub me and grope me like inappropriately and I told him no, you know? And um, and then he came and did it again and then another chick stood up and like started talking shit to him because I'm just not, I'm really not confrontational. You may think I am because of these videos but I'm really, I'm a really hardcore introvert. I'm not confrontational in that way. And back then I was still very unsure of myself and so it wasn't something, you know, standing up for myself like that was not something I could muster up. Uh, but then I remember him making a comment like I was lucky that he was even approaching me because like my friends look better than him any or look better than me anyway. And I'm like, man, I'm already insecure as fuck. Like I did not need that kind of comment. But anyway, um, I realized that this is something that a lot of you are dealing with and not just being the fat friend, but another thing that many of you are dealing with is the fact that your thinner friends um, or just basically anyone smaller than you, when they make comments about their own bodies saying, you know, oh, I'm so fat or I'm so this or whatever, like you feel like, well, if you think you're fat and you weigh 100 pounds less than I do, like are you looking at me and thinking I'm some big huge whale and what must you think of me if you can think that about yourself? Um, and I would, I would say with that, if this person is your friend, for real your friend, not your freaking frenemy, like they're your friend. They're probably not making a comment about themselves in order to insult you. They're probably not making a comment about themselves being fat in order for you, a fat girl, to tell them, oh no you're not, you're so skinny, you're so this, look at me, I'm a big fat whale and look at you, you're so much smaller than me. They're probably just making that comment, not in reference to you, but just because they are also insecure about their bodies. Thin people, people that I would look at and be like, holy shit, you're very small or you're very thin or whatever, your average size even like, in my mind, I would never say you're fat. But in her mind, if she's five pounds overweight or if she has a little pudge here or there or she's a little bit bigger than she was last month, in her mind, she might be thinking, I'm so fat or I'm getting fat or whatever. I feel like the word fat not what fat actually is, but the way that so many of us throw it around, 
I, I feel like it's so subjective. Like, of course, nine out of 10 people, probably 10 out of 10 people, are gonna look at me and say, she's fat. But every now and again, I have people that are like, no, you're not fat, you're this. And I'm like, no, I'm fat. But it's just to prove my point that fat doesn't always mean the same thing. And a thin person calling themselves fat, your friend who is small calling themselves fat does not mean that they are thinking negative things about you. And it doesn't mean that you need to feel bad about yourself just because someone else is feeling bad about themselves. I mean, and don't try to help them, this person, this thin person calling themselves fat by saying, well, you're not fat, look at me, I'm way fatter than you or whatever. Like, don't try to do that because you don't need to put yourself down in order to bring someone else up. Just like you never need to put anyone else down in order to raise your own self-esteem and in order to feel better about yourself. So my main suggestion here is that one, you need to remember that someone else talking badly about themselves does not necessarily mean that they are thinking badly about you and you don't need to compare yourself. That is the biggest takeaway you should have from this video and from any video and from anything in life, whether it comes down to weight or money, class, schooling, whatever the hell, like anything. You do not need to compare yourself. There is some quote, I forgot who said it, I said it in a different video. People started quoting me, it's not my quote, <laughs> but um, the quote is, and it's one of my very, very favorites, and it is, comparison is the thief of joy. And that is so incredibly true, because I could be so, 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 so happy with my life, but the second I started comparing it to other people's lives, the second I compared my weight and my body to another girl, or I compare my earnings to another, I don't know, blogger or YouTuber or whatever, the second I compare my hair to someone else or my parenting to someone else or my relationship to someone else, that's when I'm gonna start feeling shitty about it. Because comparison is pointless. We are not in these positions. Where you're not competing against your friend to be skinnier. Who wins? What's the prize? There's nothing. There's no reason that you should ever be comparing your body to anyone else's body. You definitely don't need to compare bodies. Every body is different. Even if you're the same weight, every body is shaped different. Every body is different, but every body is a good body. Like, it can be a good body. Body. One certain look, one certain size, one certain weight, that isn't the definition of what's good or what's healthy or what you should strive to attain. That is not something that even exists. That is so subjective and so comparison is 100% the thief of fucking joy. Live your life comparing it to other people. Live your life comparing your body to other people. Live that life where you do nothing but compare your life to someone else and you are going to freaking hate it, okay? Because it feels awful. And then if you do compare yourself to someone else and you and you come out victorious, what do you win? You don't win anything. Comparing yourself and your body, if you are the fat friend to someone that is thinner than you and your group of friends or whatever, that's not gonna help anyone. And hopefully you are not with a group of girls or whatever that are judging you and dubbing you the fat friend because that's fucked up. Like no one ever called me that. I just felt that way. I don't feel that way anymore. Now I just feel like those are my friends. Like I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I don't feel like the fat friend. I don't feel like the this friend or the that friend. I just feel like that's my friend, period, point blank, end of story. You don't need to dub yourself the fat friend. You don't need to go through life feeling like that is a title that you actually hold. It's not. If you have friends, you have friends. You're just their friend. You don't need to be their this friend or their that friend. You're just their friend. No one is the skinny friend or the pretty friend or the fat friend or the this friend. You guys are just friends and you don't need to look at it that way. And do not compare your body to other people's bodies because everyone's body is different and no one is gonna be the same unless, I don't know, you have a twin or whatever. But that's obviously not what we're talking about here. So just do your best not to compare yourself and compare your body to other people's bodies. And when someone else is bad-mouthing themselves, especially if this person is your friend, I highly suggest that you try to make them feel better. Don't join in and start bashing yourself. I know that's like the scene in Mean Girls, right? Like, oh, my pores, my white hips. Like, 
don't do that. Just try to make that person feel better about themselves. Don't try to make yourself feel worse about yourself. Let's get everyone's self-esteem up. Let's just raise the fucking bar of confidence and let's just all feel better about ourselves because we're gonna be much happier people, much more successful, much more driven, much more positive. And that is really what we need in this society and in our lives personally because positivity is life-changing. So. That's what I have to say about being the fat friend. I am still fat, I'm still a friend, however, I am not the fat friend. I am not the uh, duff, is that a thing? I saw something online about that, anyway. Don't do that, don't consider yourself the fat friend because you're not, you're just a friend. Even if you're fat, it doesn't matter. You're still very capable of being a very good person and that's all I have to say about that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any topic suggestions below or um, email me at asksaravargas at gmail.com. Of course, you can always let me know through Instagram or Twitter. Uh, my Instagram is at Sarah Ray with three H's. My Twitter is at Ravings by Ray because I haven't changed it yet and maybe one day I will, but not right now. And uh, I think that's it. So if you guys have not subscribed, you should. And I will be back with another Dear Fat Girl soon. Let me know if you've ever felt like the fat friend or if you've ever felt bad because someone smaller than you has called themselves fat. And then that makes you think like, well, if she's fat, what the hell am I? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let me know and I hope I see you in my next video. Bye guys. Hollywood go. Go. Hey Hollywood, hey Hollywood go.